Chapter 7 Skill Development and Employment 7.1 Employment is key to economic empowerment and self-reliance. Article 27 of the UNCRPD recognizes the right of PWD to work on equal basis with others that includes the right to opportunity to gain a living by work chosen freely. It prohibits discrimination in employment including conditions of recruitment on the basis of disability. It also mandates creation of conducive environment for PWDs to enable them to have access to vocational training program, placement services, self-employment opportunities, entrepreneurship, etc. 7.2 The RPWD Act 2016 mandates the government to frame schemes and programs including provisions of loans at concessional rate to facilitate and support employment of PWDs especially for their vocational training and self-employment. Such schemes and programs need to focus on inclusion of PWDs in all mainstream formal and non-formal vocational and skill training with active link to market and promoting marketing of products made by PWDs. Seven point three. The Act also prohibits discrimination in employment in establishments on the grounds of disability. It provides for publication of equal opportunity policy by every establishment and maintenance of records of employees with disability and facilities provided to them in a systematic manner. The government establishments are also mandated to appoint grievance redressal officer for addressing the concerns of employees with disability. 7.4 The Act provides for not less than 4% reservation for persons with benchmark disabilities in government establishments. As regards private establishments, it is government to provide incentive to private employers to promote appointment of PWDs in their organizations. 7.5 Despite the provisions in the RPWD Act 2016, there are several barriers for PWDs to enter the employment market. Challenges range from lack of proper education and training, lack of financial resources, nature of the workplace and employer's perception of the ability of PWDs. Negative attitude towards employees with disabilities can result in discrimination. This negative attitude comes from negligence, ignorance, stereotyping, backlash and fear. 7.6 Many employers also assume that co-workers may react negatively if PWDs are hired into the organization.
7.6. There are also instances where PWDs often shy away from applying for certain jobs fearing social stigma. There is also perception among PWDs that they may be treated differently post entry into organization. In the absence of an effective integration process, a conducive environment in an organization for inculcating inclusive culture will be unrealistic. Seven point seven. Some of the constraints PWDs face in employment market are lower literacy level, lack of daily living skills, lack of self esteem and confidence, overprotective parents, lack of basic trade skills, poor knowledge of language, health issues, rural disconnect from market, and preference for government jobs. Seven point eight. Key actors in employment of PWDs are, therefore, PWD themselves, government establishments including local bodies, corporate houses, industry bodies, and association of PWDs. Each of the stakeholder needs to work together to overcome the challenges to foster employment of PWDs. 7.9 the following steps will be taken by the government for promoting employment of pwds in government and private sector a dedicated national level employment portal for pwds will be developed with all advanced accessible features to meet the highest standard of accessibility this portal will have all information such as skill training available at different locations, vacancies in different industry houses, including government agencies, nature of job and workplace, eligibility criteria, recruitment process, counseling services, etc. This portal will serve as a one-stop shop for employment opportunities for PWDs. This portal will also serve as a knowledge repository for employment of PWDs. 7.9. Every government and private establishment will report their vacancies and other details to Ministry of Labour and Employment for updating in the portal as and when advertisement is issued by them. The above portal will also act as a virtual employment exchange for PWDs by providing an additional facility of registration of PWDs with their UDID number. An intensive social campaign will be undertaken to sensitize the employment ecosphere, employment ecosphere, that is PWDs, their families, corporate and industry houses, government authorities, local authorities. Similar exercise should be undertaken by the states, union territories at their level. Though the central government launched National Action Plan for Skill Development of PWDs since 2015-16, the campaign needs to take off on a larger scale. The campaign needs to take off on a large scale. Implementation strategy of the NAP will be revisited Implementation strategy of the NAP will be revisited in consultation with PWDs and industry corporate houses. E-platform for skilling of PWDs will also be explored. Such e-platform will be interactive in nature and will also provide counselling services in matters related to skill training. The Department of Personnel and Training will need the Department of Personnel and Training will need to strengthen its portal for capturing information relating to recruitment of PWDs in central government establishments. 
every central government establishment will have to submit updated information by 15th January every year about category-wise employment of PWDs. Similar action should be taken by all states' union territories through their general administration departments. Data on employment of PWDs will be available on website of each central government ministry department and updated on quarterly basis. The Department of Personnel and Training will develop an equal opportunity policy to be followed uniformly across all central government enterprises. Similarly, the Department of Public Enterprises and Department of Financial Services will develop equal opportunity policy for CPSUs and PSFIs respectively. The states and union territories will also take similar steps in this regard. With a view to create conducive environment at workplaces for PWDs, the workplace will be made accessible with appropriate technology and assistive device support. As regards government establishments, DOPT will take steps for providing facilities to employees with disabilities in, gov in government establishments, including addressing the issues such as special leave, preferential posting, transfer, aids and assistive devices to enhance work efficiency. In-service training of officers and staff of government establishments, both at central and state levels, down to district and panchayat levels, will be undertaken periodically for sensitizing them about the provisions of law, recruitment process, data management related to employment of PWDs. National Handicapped Finance Development Corporation implements schemes for financial assistance for skill and entrepreneur development program for persons with disabilities in the age group of 18 to 59 years. It also provides loans at concessional rate of interest to persons with disabilities for promoting self-employment. NHFDC will have to play a key role and will be the focal point for implementing the skill development program for PWDs. The Government Vocational Training Centers for Persons with Disabilities operating in the country will be a part of the vocational and skilling network for providing skill training. Efforts will be made to develop capacity in training of trainers in association with National Skill Development Corporation and Sector Skill Council for Persons with Disabilities. The Small Industries Development Bank of India SIDBI is the nodal is the nodal public central bank for providing subsidized loan facility for startups. SIDBI Startup Mitra is a digital initiative of SIDBI to address the gaps in the startup ecosystem. It acts as a virtual platform to bring together all stakeholders startup entrepreneurs, incubators, investors, industry bodies, banks to meet the financing and developmental needs of early age startup enterprises. NHFDC should be a part of this digital initiative for taking a lead role in facilitating startup requirement of skilled persons with disabilities.
there should be a close coordination between SIDBI, NHFDC and NSDC. Providing startup solutions alone to persons with disabilities may not be sufficient in promoting entrepreneurships among PWDs. It would also be important to establish a network of marketing facilities for the products of persons with disabilities. NHFDC will develop a network to facilitate marketing of products of PWDs across the country through its skill training, financing partners, and establish a chain for sale of these products. Possibility of tying up with e-marketing giants will, will be explored to maintain continuous and uninterrupted sale of products made by PWDs. Success stories of self-entrepreneurship among PWDs will be highlighted across all media platforms to inspire them and their families.